So hello there and welcome to Eva's Fly Workshop today. We are tying an Icelandic, uh, <coughs> Icelandic pattern called the Rector. And the thread we are using for the Rector it's a uh, threaden light yellow thread, a black thread will just do the same. And the hook we are using it's an RX and S118 number 8. Streamer hook, classic streamer hook. Yeah, that's the color of the thread I pick for this fly. But uh, like I said, the black thread will just do do the job. But <clears throat> like I said, this fly is an Icelandic pattern and it's been around for yeah decades and. To start with, we have to form like an underbody, and I'm using a yellow aurora yarn or a yellow wool thread for for that. And we have to wrap it around the hook so it gets like in like a cigar shape, so narrow narrower to each end and bulkier in the middle. Something like that shall be the shall be the underbody of the fly, and we we'll lock the uh, wool thread in with our thread, and uh, normally the feathers we use for this fly it's a uh, it's those uh, feathers here like a yellow grizzly feathers. Normally you should be using a saddle, but I don't have saddle in this color, so I'm using just a neck, actually a dry fly neck, and I'm using the feathers from the back of it, so I get them like a little bit thicker, so they are like appropriate for the size of the hook and the size of the fly. So we take two feathers and we place them so the shiny part is facing out on each side and the length of the tail is about this it's about the length of the shank plus a like ish like a little bit more than that and we lock that down with our thread like so and uh, we store those uh, two feathers there like the tag ends of them I go in there with a needle just to pick out the loose fibers, like if there are some that have been trapped under the under the thread. That happens quite a bit with this fly. But like I said, we are going to store the those two feathers just while we uh, make the uh, <coughs> make the body of the fly. And this Rector fly has been like, yeah, it's been probably, let's say, probably close to 40 years since, since it was designed by Colbert Grinson. He's uh, definitely I, one of uh, Iceland's best anglers and fly tires on his time. He passed many years back and uh, we are tying, a, tying one of his patterns. And we see now how we do with the feather we are striking or doing the fibers of the feather like so then we wrap the feathers around the yellow body and this is where it comes in handy to have a saddle because those feathers of the saddle are usually a little bit a little bit softer than the neck bones those are a little bit stiffer but it will do the job and uh, when you lock it in wiggle the thread simply to catch it and try to not trap uh, any fibers down and if we zoom in a little bit 
then you can see the uh, whole image of the flight and the next step we are doing after we attach the uh, after we attach the uh, feather down after we lock it down like so that's to form the body of the fly and the body of this fly of the reactor fly is simply made out of the out of those uh, fibers which are standing out from the body so what we do is that we uh, fold them backwards like so and we catch them with our thread we should do it carefully to try to kind of catch all the fibers and we lock them down like this it's a little you excuse that there is a little issue with the focus on the camera I think I left it on autofocus so which is not a good idea but as soon as I take my hands away it's gonna it's gonna be okay so this is the body on the tail of the fly and it should look like this like I said you can use a yellow or you can use a black thread for it it's actually it actually doesn't matter that much the next step for the fly is the uh, wing and we are using a yellow squirrel for the wing and we will pick like something like that measure it with our fingers and uh, snip it off the tail and measure it again pull out the underfur which is a really good really really good rule to do and then we'll trim the end of the uh, squirrel measure it again like so this is the preferred length so what's my interest finger I swap it over to the uh, between hands and take it with my left hand there hold it tight and firm and then just snip it off and now we will have exactly the correct length of the wing like the desired length then I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, head cement and uh, place just one tiny drop on the on the end there and what it does is uh, is that it keeps all the all the fur together so even if you drop it it's still gonna be in one group so it's a really it's a really handy uh, handy method when it comes to working with fur and especially squirrel you can see it you can lock it down with like like not too tight in the first place just to kind of measure out how you want the wing to stay and you can turn it and twist it and just do what what you prefer then we lock it down with the thread like we are doing now and start to form the head of the fly but like I said this is not all of the fly this is a fancy one it has a uh, cheeks on it and the cheeks are made out of the uh, jungle cock I'm using a natural jungle cock here because simply because I have it but uh, I think uh, when I will finish up the cape which I have I'll, I will not buy another natural cape I will simply buy the artificial ones and uh, we lock it in there and you see that I leave the tack ends of the jungle cock behind and the reason for that is simply that when you do like, like like a couple of loose wraps like so you can take the tack end and kind of tune the position of the feather tune the length of it just with your with the tack end just by pulling it you know, backward, back, backward or forward 
So that is uh, the reason why I still keep them on there. And you see it's like almost level. Enough so I will be satisfied and then we'll take tighter wraps. Few of them. Just to secure down the uh, jungle cock. Then we will snip off the uh, tag ends. It's like I think the longest video I've made. This is like close to 20 minutes long video. But this fly is like a uh, like a like a lecture you're working with different stuff. And now we will be uh, using another yellow grizzly feather. And we will create like a little brush on it there for the thread to catch it with. Like so. And this will be the hackle of the fly. And the hackle comes in front of the jungle cock. It must not though be like that long fibered feather that it's going to be blocking the jungle cock. It must be just in the kind of the correct length. So now we will wrap this around the head of the fly and we'll start in the back and wrap the feather forward and it's like I say it's easy to make some mistake there but but it's just simply to learn from and, and repeat and, and do so so we'll take one more and that's about it and then we'll lock the feather in with the thread and this fly is like I said yeah some Icelandic pattern been around for close to probably 40 50 years it's called the rector and uh, it was used first in the in the north of Iceland in Laxo in north uh, of Iceland around Mivat and that area is famous for its uh, beauty and for the brown trout the stream is holding. And we'll just yeah, zoom in on this a bit for you guys. So it's like the next step is to fold some of those fibers backwards. I know it may not be the easiest thing to do, but... Uh, it would be easier with a subtle feather, they are softer usually, but uh, the method I'm using to just pinch them backwards, it's definitely, it's definitely gonna do its uh, job. And by that, we are starting to form the head of the fly, finally. But... Uh, we have to pinch them back and uh, wrap it a bit around, like so. And then we'll just snip off the extra fibers which are in the front. Simply to, yeah, there, so they're not in the way. And we'll just place thread over this. It's a little bit messed up. But this fly, I haven't tied this fly for... Yeah, probably two decades myself. I have a few, in, a few in the box, but there was a request on the channel about doing this fly. Uh, I'm taking a red glow bright to place over the head of the fly so it comes like in a hot spot. But the original version of the fly was simply with just a red head. Uh, or at least, yeah, red uh, painted hat but uh, the uh, the clopride is like UV re it reflects the UV light so I like the uh, clopride more than this red hat cement or red varnish we'll just take two two wraps of the of the spool and to place it on the hat And and for brown trout, this fly is uh, 
especially good pattern for Grand Trot and it would be interesting to hear from you guys in the comments if if some of you guys try this fly abroad somewhere in a different place than Iceland. I presume it works for it works for Brown Trout in other parts of the world as well. And here comes the red color on the hat. It may look orange, but it is a red globe red. It's maybe the lighting or the lightning stuff here, which is uh, overdoing the color, so it looks not red anymore. And then we lock that down with our thread. And there may be some Icelandic fly tires who complain about that, that I'm not uh, doing the hat in the original way, but uh, the reason I'm doing like doing it like this is I tried both and it seems to catch more this way. And then the final step is simply to do a little whip finish just on the very front of the head there. Two rounds and then we'll place a UV, UV glue just on the on the knot there. I'm not going to coat the whole red part with the UV glue because it's going to reduce the uh, ability to reflect the light. The eye of the hook is not blinded, it seems, but it's not blinded. I tested that out. But, uh, like I said, yeah, this Rector Fly is a, one of the beautiful patterns designed in Iceland. Uh, then we'll be uh, placing like a little bit of uh, UV resin on the uh, on the knot, and then we'll sap it, and we are good to go. It's one of my favorite flies, but like I said, I haven't tied this one for for a long time, and it looks like a fly that catches fish. And we'll just sap it with our light. So I want to simply say th thanks guys for watching the video and uh, you may consider to subscribe to my channel, it will help a lot. Like, share and subscribe to the channel and share the video. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you.